So question number two today is, uh, it's on a similar vein in a way, but is it okay for Christians to smoke pot? Now, again, if you're watching this, please watch this question all the way through and uh, burn me out when I say this. And if you disagree with me, that's okay. I'm giving my opinion here. I'm not opening a Bible verse, 3 Corinthians, and saying thou shalt not smoke pot. But my basic answer would be no. I would not advise anybody to smoke pot. That's my advice, okay? And I'll go there in a minute, but I've heard all of the reasonings and logic and things like that. Um, so if you can, if you're watching these question and answers chopped up, I'd go back and look at what I said about drinking alcohol. But um, real quick, I would say this, in my experience, and I do have some experience of this, I, I don't think it's actually possible to smoke pot in a way, I, I would suggest to you it's actually possible, you know, occasionally, maybe once a week to have a glass of wine or something like that with a meal and do that in a way where, I mean, I accept you're being slightly altered in your state, you're being relaxed by that in the way that a cup of coffee will stimulate you and wake you up. I would actually suggest it's not possible to be somebody who consumes pot on a regular basis and not have it affect you. I, that's my honest belief. Um, yes, I've smoked pot. Yes, I've smoked pot many times, not when I was walking with the Lord. Um, so I know whereof I speak with that. Now, I understand the, the logic people will say, well, you know, if it's okay occasionally to have a glass of wine, why would it be not okay to smoke pot? Again, I, personally, I would say because of the strength of the product. Let me just say this as well. Many people come to this thing of smoking pot and say, well, it's just a natural herb, you know, it's a natural, normal substance that God put on the earth. Um, I mean, a couple of comments about, firstly, smoking anything into your lungs is not natural. <laughs> God did not make your lungs to take any kind of smoke in. Seriously. Truth. Secondly, uh, <clears throat> I mean, if, if you're not aware of this, do some research, but I would say to you, look at the uh, pot, weed, marijuana that's being sold both, I mean here in Massachusetts it's been sold legally within like half a mile of my home there's a place you can go and buy recreational pot, it's a busy place but if you actually look at the what's the, is it the THC levels in that pot it is nothing like it was 30, 40 years ago, this, this stuff has been bred and developed and it is incredibly strong, it has been bred and developed and uh, cultivated in a way to be incredibly strong. And I, I, again, I know some of the arguments, somebody's gonna say, well, nobody ever had an overdose with pot. That's true. I mean, physically, it's not hurting you so much to smoke pot. Nobody ever smokes a joint and like keels over and dies in that way. But if you think it's not affecting you, I think it is affecting you physically, firstly. I think it's incredibly true that it affects people mentally. And I, I don't know anybody who smokes pot long term without being affected by it. There's a reason they call it dope. Sorry, but I'm being real with you. I, I think as well, there is a, <clears throat> I've seen this happen many, 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 many times. There is often a, like a sort of minor level of psychosis that happens with that. Anybody who smoked pot can know, will relate exactly when I'm talking about this, the, the fear the paranoia. There's a reason people put like sunglasses on when they smoke and it's like they don't want people to know as if nobody knows. <laughs> uh, when you see somebody walking around in sunglasses eating Doritos and hiding in a corner with red eyes, then mind the smoking pot. Um, so I, I would actually say, you know, my, my criteria for making a judgment around this would simply be this. Can you do that to the glory of God? Could you... Um, smoke pot, come into church and worship the living God. And honestly, I don't think you could. And that's my deeply felt opinion. Now, again, as I've said in an earlier question, I'm not saying you're not going to heaven. I'm not saying Jesus doesn't love you. I'm not saying, um, you know, you're not a good person. You know, I was asked the question, so that's my honest thing. If you're somebody a Christian who you know, took something, I would honestly advise you to really seek God about that and say, is that helpful? Is that conducive to you flourishing as a Christian? And I've, I've come to the conclusion, if that were me, if that were my kids, I've got two adult kids, if one of them came in and said, hey dad, I've been smoking pot, I'm gonna love them, I'm not gonna condemn them, and I'm gonna certainly say, hey, I did that when I was younger too, and I don't 
I've got no, um, I'm not condemning you in that way, but I would not want them to continue in that vein. I would also say it affects people, you know, just actually in terms of their passion, their vision, their engagement in life. If life is so bad that we need to anesthetize ourselves, that's actually not a, a useful thing, a good thing. And I don't believe it's God's will. Now, that's my opinion. You can write me a comment, but keep them polite. And uh, if you disagree with me, fine. But uh, I think I have wisdom on that one. Mm.